We have live team coverage at 4 o'clock. We'll start with News 4's Andrew Siff in Jamaica, Queens with the situation there. Andrew. Stefan, always worth considering how empty it is. Here it is, 4 o'clock, empty at Long Island Railroad, Jamaica Station. Normally, this is rush hour and it's packed. And heading into a holiday weekend, the railroad tells me typically 2,000 New Yorkers hop that train to Long Beach to go to the beach. This year, the message is the exact opposite of all aboard. All roads are leading to the first half of June. Mayor de Blasio saying the city could be ready to resume manufacturing and curbside retail in less than two weeks. Today, the mayor doubled the number of Staten Island ferries at rush hour after an uptick in passengers already. Are you concerned that essentially people are lifting the lockdown themselves? I think what's happening is that folks are naturally, you know, growing into what is allowed and that even many things that were allowed, people were not doing. What no one is allowed to do this weekend is swim at a city beach. The governor was asked about New Yorkers heading to state beaches on Long Island instead. His advice, leave early. I'm a Queens boy. It's a ride to these beaches, uh, and you don't want to take that ride and get all the way out there and find out the beach is already closed. Today, the MTA did what in any other year would be unthinkable, telling riders not to use mass transit this holiday weekend. We ask that all that you do not need to ride with us unless it's an essential trip. The concern? Crowded trains where social distancing is impossible. More than 120 transit workers have died in the COVID crisis. We need hazard pay. We demand hazard pay. Transit workers and all MTA workers deserve it. And the hazards of the pandemic continue to take a toll on New Yorkers struggling to make ends meet. Long lines at food pantries persist. So do complaints that some of the city's meals are subpar. And we take this extremely seriously. When we're talking to our vendors, one of the key questions is, would you serve this to your grandma? Uh, if that's the answer to that is no, then we should not be working with you. And back on the issue of getting around this holiday weekend, the Long Island Railroad did say they have some extra trains on standby just in case things get too crowded this weekend. But again, their message is, please don't take the train or a bus unless you're an essential worker. We're live in Jamaica, Queens. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.